私はケチマリコ。マリコ様、ケチマリコ。コタビノイシドサマノヒルツナシュンエキニモノモシマス。It is revealed early in the series that Mariko's father, a traitor, has brought shame upon the family. This makes it evident that she had wanted to take her own life for a long time. But for years, her husband, Bunturo, has denied her demands to end her own life, leaving her effectively imprisoned in a depressing version of purgatory outside of reality. Mariko appears to have her chance to commit seppuku in Shogun episode, nine after she is unable to follow Lord Toranaga's demands. Just before performing the act, though, she is given permission to leave from Osaka, meaning that she can finally follow out Toranaga's demands. Following Yabushige's betrayal, shinobi warriors break into Mariko's facility. Mariko, who is trapped in a storage shed, finally dies in an explosion, saying just before the detonation that she is loyal to her lord. Though Mariko had long yearned for death as a result of her family's transgressions, her final passing serves a purpose bigger than merely absolving her of her own guilt. When the Shogun character dies in the climax, it will undoubtedly have a significant impact that goes beyond her own sad family history to mark the beginning of Japan's Edo period. Even though Mariko's death in Shogun Episode 9 is certainly a tragic way to finish the show, the way the show has linked her fate to that of Japan's political system helps to lessen the blow of the tragedy.